Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and today in this video we are going to take a quick look at the Diatone Mamba flight controller. This is the uh, Mamba F405 and uh, well it's really a whole stack. It's, the, it's a flight controller ESC 4-in-1 stack which is super fantastic really and the price, my goodness, is like $45.00. Um, so um, if you are looking for like a budget stack, this is this seems to be pretty fantastic. I mean, this thing, I imagine they're flying off the shelves. Um, and I've been waiting a little while to get this one. Um, so I will leave a link in the description below to those if you're interested. But uh, if you do have gotten one of these or, or, or if you are thinking about getting one, um, you might have noticed that there's not much information as far as like written manual type information about this flight controller. And I know for me, you know, I'm not the most, you know, I'm not a super duper tech whiz. Um, so, you know, I can't just look at a board right away and just figure out where everything, you know, what, what, what everything's supposed to do uh, and all that. So, um, I watched some other videos and then there's some helpful ones. I'll leave those in the link or I'll, I'll leave a link to those in the description as well. Uh, but I just want to show you how I have this wired up because I got this wired up and I'm flying it and that's the most important thing sometimes you don't need to know everything about something you just need to know how to get it how to get it to do what you want it to do first let me just show you in case you haven't seen this this is the manual and a very nice manual um, excellent I will get I, I will give them excellent points for uh, creativity and design because it looks fantastic it's wonderful look at that it folds up and then it comes out and it's like wow that's so cool and uh, it's good great visuals but unfortunately it doesn't give you much actual like information in fact it, it doesn't even label any of the wires or anything. It just kind of says like, okay, this is where it goes. So they say the receiver should go there, but it really shouldn't. And we'll talk about that in a second. So the camera, the camera is pretty straightforward actually. Um, so we've just, we have the, uh, we have a uh, five volt ground and camera in, and this uses a, an onboard um, OSD. So it uses the beta flight OSD. So the camera goes in, that's all great. And then uh, the VTX, the video transmitter here, um, this, this camera, by the way, is a uh, Foxier Aero Mini Pro. Um, I, I really like it so far. Uh, this video transmitter is a Tiachine uh, Eashin, not Tiachin, Eashin TX805 video transmitter. Really great. This has smart audio capable. Uh, it's, it's smart audio capable. And in case you don't know, smart audio has nothing to do with audio. What it is, it's, it's actually, you're using what would be the audio, um, audio wire. Uh, cause, cause this is like, you could send audio back to your video, uh, goggles. Um, and your DVR and record audio. This even has a little microphone. But if you don't want to do that, you can use the audio wire, this green wire here, and you can um, <clears throat> connect it to your flight controller so that you can actually access the settings, change the settings on your video transmitter using the the uh, built-in OSD or the Betaflight OSD and uh, changing the channels and stuff by using stick commands on your transmitter. So instead of having to like press the button and wait a certain amount of time and you know it, it really it, it actually is really nice. So this is my first time using this and it's very nice. So um, but more to the point of the wiring so the 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 kind of the pads where they show you to wire your video stuff is right here so you have uh, 5 volt ground uh, TX what is that TX3 so small I can't even see it TX3 and vid um, and I believe TX3 is where you're supposed to be able to put the uh, smart audio, but that didn't seem to work for me. Um, so what I did is I just put ground on the ground, vid on the vid, the vid video wire, and then the for the smart audio, I hooked it up to the TX1 on this side right here. And, <clears throat> and I will show you a screenshot of what I did in Betaflight in the ports tab um, on the UART1. You want to go into the per peripherals and select TBS Smart Audio, and um, and now's a good time to point out that this has uh, TX uh, TX and RX one, uh, TX and RX three, and TX and RX six, and those correspond, unless I'm totally incorrect here, to UART one, UART three, and UART six. You know, where's four and five? I'm not sure, but that doesn't really matter right now. And so that's what you want to do to hook that up. I will roll in a screenshot and let's see. So that, oh yeah, and then as far as the power, so this is uh, this VTX, um, it takes seven to 24 volts. So this little five volt pad is not going to power our VTX here. So what I did is I hooked it up to um, <clears throat> the uh, VCC and ground 
uh, right here, and this uh, this will give you um, your input voltage or your basically your battery input voltage. So if you're running a four cell, you're going to have four cell power. If you're running five or six cell, you're going that's it's going to be the same voltage as whatever battery you have going in. And this video transmitter can can handle anywhere from seven to twenty four volts, so it should be able to handle a six cell just fine. And this flight controller is supposed to be six cell capable. Um, but I have not tried that out yet. So, uh, so that's the video transmitter. Um, it's pretty straightforward, but it was a little confusing trying to figure out where to put it. Now, the uh, receiver that we actually use to control our uh, quadcopter, um, this is a uh, FLI 14 plus uh, receiver, and because I'm using uh, FlySky brand uh, transmitter and the i6x which is actually pretty fantastic if you're looking for a good budget radio i'll do a video on that soon anyway so this uses ibus and um this so far this has been a good uh, receiver this uses ibus so you cannot you cannot connect it up here where it says bind five volt and ppm well because this doesn't use ppm this uses ibus and ppm is lame anyway it's kind of it's kind of slower and less desirable than IBUS and SBUS, um, generally speaking. And so what I did over here, down at the bottom here, I have connected it to ground 5 volt and RX3. So again, in Betaflight, in the ports tab, yeah, the ports tab, um, under UART3, I have selected Serial RX. And what that does is, um, well, that basically, I guess it kind of, opens up this one and says, hey, I'm using my serial RX, which is like IBUS or SBUS. Um, I'm using that on this little tab right here, and that's where I want the signal to uh, to be received at. So um, that's basically it. That's pretty much it. But it took me a little while to figure that out. It was kind of frustrating. It was, uh, brought me back to my, my first days getting the quads going and uh, trying to learn all that stuff. So I, I tell you what, that's what's fun, kind of fun sort of ish about this is there's always something to learn and, and uh, the technology is just always advancing and stuff. So very interesting. Um, anyway, so one, one last thing, this flight controller, in case you're wondering, uh, on beta flight, when you flash it, you want to use the, like the target, uh, you want to use uh, for the board, you want to select Fury F4 OSD, and you will need the, uh, the Zadig uh, driver thing to flash this and to be totally honest I'm not sure if you need the other drivers or not but what I would do is I would download the uh, impulse RC driver fixer because I just found out about this I know it's kind of old news and uh, and use that and what that does is it basically detects what kind of driver um, or I guess it's it's it, it usually works most of the time it detects what kind of driver your flight controller needs and will download it from like a list of drivers that it already has you know in its database so that's great I'll leave a link to that in the description below as well because I think that will save you a lot of time by the way this is this uh, this flight controller stack is on the um, budget basher that we're doing a build uh, series on um, the so the, you're I guess if you watch this before the build series you're kinda getting a little sneak peek but I will have those videos out soon if they are not out already at the time of watching this so um, anyway uh, so hopefully that'll help you and uh, and you won't be you know pulling your hair out because uh, it was kind of confusing for me at first so uh, if this helped you uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions um, leave those below also if uh, you found something that helps helped you um, setting up your mamba flight controller stack uh, leave those in the comments below as well as usual thanks for uh, thanks for watching Thanks for your thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Consider subscribing to this channel. If you like videos like this and you really just want to see more, subscribe and let me know. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it. Share this video with someone. Um, anyway, stay tuned for more. I'll see you next time.